My name is John Gale, and I have severe hemophilia A. What I would want the public to know about bleeding disorders is that it's not a, a death sentence. You, know, you can either get bitter or better, you know, that old saying. And um, poor me kind of is not the attitude that you need to take. I was diagnosed at two years of age. Um, had a lot of bruising. Circumcision wouldn't heal, a typical kind of story. My mom came into the bedroom one morning and uh, found me in bed. My mattress was soaked with blood. I had evidently cut the roof of my mouth with some toy or something and uh, bled for two weeks and they were trying to find out what was going on. I think probably the, the biggest struggle was during the 80s and the whole contaminated factor with all the infectious diseases that took place. Uh, I contracted all the H's as I like to call them, Hep A, B, C and HIV. My first experience with NHF, my dad was the uh, board president of our local chapter, like in 1970. We always used NHF probably as a resource through the years. I was not very involved in camp and different events and things like that. But as the years went by, we actually adopted a son who has hemophilia. And so we decided that we needed to be a little more involved. I think what we found of value from NHF was um, the resources, the materials, the brochures, the information that you could find now online. Um, these are things you know, you're always looking for information that you may need in regards to whatever's happened to you. And sometimes it wasn't always easily accessible through the HTC or the chapter. And so uh, being able to go to this national resource, I think, was a great benefit. We're now actively involved in our chapter and going to educational retreats and weekends and dinners and all types of things. So uh, the um, community, NHF, uh, and our you know, local hemophilia community has definitely been a great resource to him growing up now. I think the impact that NHF has had on the bleeding disorders community is enormous. Um, I think without the advocacy of NHF um, on a national level, um, we would not have a lot of the, the opportunities that we have as a community. So I think um, the relationship that, that I have with NHF is very important for our family.